Good morning and welcome back to another Saturday morning uh, van conversion special. So today we're going to uh, fit in two of these. I've already got one fitted. I'm going to fit a second one, but I'm going to rearrange both of them with some better cable. Cable. Uh, I've got enough there to run from the front of the van, vehicle battery, all the way to the back here. That 50 mil cable is going to come into this 300 amp heavy duty bus bar. Uh, and then I'm going to come off with two 50 amp cables to each of these switches. And the reason I'm using these Blue C system switches uh, is a step. So I can go 50 mil to that and then come off the 60 mil into the Victron Orion XS, which is nice and small. And again, I'll do that to the same switch, two switches, two Orions, those type of cables. And that'll all then come from the ground and the in on each of those Orions back to the Victron distributors where it will be fused as well. Simples. I'd like to give a big shout out as well to 12 Volt Planet for sponsoring today's video. Uh, those guys have been absolutely amazing. If you've never ever been to 12 Volt Planet or uh, use their website then please head over to the website it's an encyclopedia of information that is relevant to converting a van or a boat or whatever it is uh, and it gives you all the guides for wiring sizes fuse sizes everything you should need uh, to help you uh, with your van electrics and more so and again if like me you need to speak to someone please ring the guys at 12 planet they have an encyclopedia brain of information as well and they will happily help you out on the phone so head over to 12 volt planet uh, on a saturday thank you 12 volt planet for my uh, urgent resupply anyway a few other things that we've got uh, we've got some new m8 bolts uh, some more stuff loads of lugs Another V direct USB cable for the second Orion to plug into the servo. Some blue con um, trunking to hide the cables. So this is where I'm at. The batteries are out. Everything's disconnected. The uh, two Orions are out there. So that's my original Orion. This is the one uh, I'm adding as well. So I'm going to be adding two of these. And I've just got to rearrange these switches and disconnect the cable. So all I've done is labelled them XS1, XS2 with my little printer thing and then on the uh, distributor XS1. Ignore the power in, it's just the cover. They are all fused as in previous videos. XS1, XS2, XS1 and then I'll have XS2 on there as well. So that's kind of like what we're looking for. The two XS's up there, some trunking below it the cable uh, the switches below that and then the cable that comes off to that uh, bus bar there so that is kind of how it's gonna look that's the trunking in now I've got somewhere to hide the cables which is gonna be fine should give me enough room to get up into here now I can position the two and work out the lengths of the cables that I need to get from here to the switch to the finger majiggies. So I've cut the wire down. I'm just going to use this 16 mil ferrule. Need a bit more wire like that. Yeah. 
the wires just come to the top of the throttle. And what I've got is these 16 mil feral crimpers. So that'll fit snugly now into the uh, excess on the power inside. So, uh, where was my finger? 50 mil cable coming in, 50 mil coming off the bus bar into the switches, allowing a step down to a 16 mil cable into the Orions. And now all I've got to do is run a uh, negative cable off each one to the uh, distributors and then a positive cable. So there the, the power's coming in. Now I've got to get the power out to the distributor and then put the batteries back in. In to bus bar, cable to the switch, switch to the power in, and then the power cables to the Victron distributor. Up there. So yeah, everything's all wired in, two excesses. Uh, the first XX, which was further away, is to the nearest uh, distributor, and the second XS is equal distance to the second distributor. All fused in, all ready to go, so all I now need to do is put the batteries back in. Uh, I'm going to do some new wiring for the batteries before I do anything else, and then once it's all in, the batteries are in, fire it all up and see if it works. Switched back on. Uh, another thing I did was a uh, 70 mil cable on the batteries to match what's coming off the uh, links distributor and the inverter so it's all matching yeah everything is on mpt is on servos working code for the new thing wired in excess i'll show you a screenshot of that all that's left to do is start the engine up so I've just been running the video, uh, running the video, running the engine. Uh, everything's working fine. Both B to Bs, uh, my DCs are working perfectly fine. I'll show you a screenshot of that as well. So everything's working fine. So all I need to do now is put the covers back on to the uh, distributors, pack the van, and go. So basically, we already know that these two work. They're. Uh, running fine i'm getting uh, almost 30 amps <clears throat> per dc to dc which is perfect um i uh everything's wired in new cables are on the batteries which is what i wanted to do so everything from the battery to the distributor to the inverter is 70 mil cable uh to carry the current when especially when using the inverter so that should solve those type of problems everything's wired into the servo now that is a wiring mess as such i have got this uh which is a victron temperature sensor so what i'm gonna do is once I get my water tank in, I'm going to attach this to the water tank so I can check the water temperature of the uh, water in the tank. Believe it or not. <laughs> also, my MPPTs are working. I've got my little portable solar panels just plugged in for now. Uh, they're working, so they're both on bulk. Everything's working. Switches are working, the electric hookups working. Uh, yeah, everything's working, and I did it all myself. There you go, another Saturday done, uh, another milestone kicked off in order to be winter ready as such. So, uh, my electrics uh, have been massively improved over the past couple of months with uh, buying, adding more Victron gear, adding the two new Victron XSs in. Um, I've ramped them down to 30 amps each uh, because my alternator is only about 150 amps so I don't want to put too much strain upon my alternator but on Wednesday in a couple, about four to five days uh, next week my van goes in to have a 220 amp alternator fitted along with its timing belt and water pump so that will then allow me to run these two 
uh, on maximum. So I'll be able to pull close to at 98% efficiency on both 100 amps, uh, which will be a game changer come this winter. So remember, I've got 600 amps of lithium, uh, both of them driving six hours, we'll be able to fully charge up from uh, nothing. So that's the whole idea of doing this to be winter ready and to give me a better chance of survival off grid uh, in the van. Uh, Next week, we're going to be fitting the new wheel, uh, water tank. So that's arrived. The uh, brackets are off to be powder coated black, but all the plumbing uh, to get the inlet in and all that sort of stuff. And then all I need to figure out is uh, getting the water from the tank to the sink. So we'll leave you on that one, but thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this interesting and all that sort of stuff. But if not, leave us a comment, let us know your thoughts. And uh, we'll speak, see you on the next video next week. Take care. Bye-bye.